The most common way of mounting small deep groove ball bearings is in a cold condition, using the special SKF fitting tool. The correct parts are identified from the chart on the inside of the toolbox. Do not remove the bearing from its box until everything is ready. Before mounting deep groove ball bearings, care must be taken to ensure that the shaft and housing are not damaged or worn. The use of some light oil on the shaft will assist the fitting. For medium to large deep groove ball bearings, heat is often used to expand the bearing inner ring. SKF provides a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. In this instance, the Scorpio induction heater is used. Do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade and always use protective gloves. The bearing should be held against the shaft shoulder until it cools sufficiently to grip the shaft. When mechanically mounting deep groove ball bearings, damage to the bearing can occur if the mounting force is applied to the non-locating bearing ring, as this would allow the shock load to be transmitted through the rolling elements. The force must always be applied to the ring with the interference fit. Deep groove ball bearings are supplied with a range of predetermined radial internal clearances. Normal clearance is not marked. Bearings with a greater than normal clearance are marked with a C3 mark. Always make sure the replacement bearing is identical and has the same internal clearance as the original. 